Hello everyone, it's me Sabrina. I hope you all are having a great day. And today we will be continuing the story of Heidi. Enjoy. Chapter 12. The house is haunted! Not long after Heidi learned how to read, Grandma announced that she would be leaving. The day of her departure was a sad time for Heidi and Clara. They knew things would not be the same without Grandma. Soon after the old woman left, Heidi began to get very homesick. Every night she cried herself to sleep thinking about her home on the mountain. Sometimes she woke up shaking at the thought that Uncle Alp or Granny might be sick or that they would die before she returned. Things got so bad that she grew pale and thin. Even Sebastian looked worried when he saw her pushing her food away. At about this time, strange things began to happen inside the house. Every morning, Sebastian found the door unlocked and standing wide open. Nothing inside the house was ever missing, so he was sure it wasn't a thief. Some of the servants began to worry. One evening when Sebastian was up late, he saw a white figure on the stairs. Soon, even Miss Rottenmeyer was frightened. She wrote Mr. Seesman and asked him to come home at once, but Mr. Seesman did not take her strange story at all seriously. So Miss Rottenmeyer told Clara about the open door and the white figure. Clara became so upset that Miss Rottenmeyer wrote to Mr. Seesman saying that she feared for Clara's health. This time he believed her and came home at once. Sure enough, after Mr. Seesman arrived, he noticed that the front door was unbolted and standing open every morning. He became concerned about the strange occurrence and decided to get to the bottom of things. The next evening, Mr. Seesman invited his friend, Clara's doctor, to sit up with him and wait for the ghost. The doctor arrived promptly at 8 and the two men sat up talking and drinking strong coffee. Some time after 12, they heard the distinct sound of a bolt being unlatched. Mr. Seesman exchanged looks with the doctor and they walked slowly towards the front door. Who's there? asked Mr. Seesman. The figure turned and gave a little cry. It was Heidi, barefooted and wearing her white nightgown. She began to tremble when she saw the two men. Why, Heidi, what are you doing here? asked the doctor. I don't know, stammered Heidi. The doctor took Heidi by the hand and led her away from the door. He talked in a kind voice for a little while. He soon discovered that Heidi had been sleepwalking. She was the ghost that everyone feared so much. After he finished asking her several questions, the doctor realized that Heidi was very homesick. So homesick that her health was beginning to suffer. The sleepwalking was really a symptom of her unhappiness and her longing to escape and return to grandfather. The doctor spoke with Mr. Seesman. He explained that Heidi must be allowed to return to the mountain. Just look at the child, he said. She is pale and has lost several pounds in a short time. Without knowing it, she has been opening the front door every night. She should be sent home tomorrow. That's my prescription. Mr. Seesman looked very upset. He knew how much Heidi meant to Clara, but he also knew what, that what the doctor was saying was true. He simply could not be responsible for Heidi becoming ill. He thought for a short time and then turned to his friend and said, I know how upset this will make Clara, but I can see how things are. Heidi will leave for her home in the morning. So everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to come back on Tuesday to find out what happens to Heidi going back home. Bye.